So I just stumbled upon this video from one of my favorite comedians on YouTube. Sean Baker! <laughs> the guy with testosterone levels lower than Benjamin Button. <laughs> God damn it, Sean! And to be honest, this quote is one of the most uneducated things that I've ever heard in my life. And so if your goal at the same time is to be a vegan, then you should not be eating lots and lots of extra food. Your goal should be to eat just the minimal amount of food that you need to stay alive. So uh, to, to call yourself a vegan bodybuilder is wrong. It just shows to me once again that John Baker doesn't know a single thing about veganism. The official definition of veganism by the Vegan Society goes as follows. Veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practical, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purpose. And that's why, once again, I need to debunk our friend Sean. Is it true that to eat crops insects die? Yes, unfortunately. Does that conclude that you should just live barely on your total daily caloric need and do nothing in excess? Hell no. If this would be true, vegans would be locked in the rooms all day long and stare at the ceiling, minimizing caloric expenditure. Well, that's not what most do. I'm an exception. <laughs> But then again, you could take it to another extremes, because even for you to live in the room, insects need to die during the construction process. So better just live on the streets. Well wait, in the streets there are also insects that might die because you breathe away the air or are not giving yourself up for food to them. The only practical solution then for the carnivore guy might then be to bury yourself alive and allow insects to subsist on your being. Just vegan things. The whole definition of veganism is to seek to exclude animals as far as is possible and practicable. 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 That's why you shall never hear of me, he's not vegan enough or whatsoever. You try to do as much as you can. If it's vegetarian or a meat free Monday, then god damn it, so be it. Is a meat free Monday the best thing for the planet, yourself and the animals? No, but it's better than the alternative of eating meat 24-7, 365. Is minimizing the pain of sentient beings one of the main reasons why I went vegan? Yes, but I don't go to those extreme ways where I fast just to spare the lives of a couple of insects. And I honestly know not a single vegan who's doing that. Most vegans that I know are very intelligent, college educated and physically active. The opposite to someone burning himself alive to allow insects to subsist on his insides. So frankly, vegan bodybuilders are no hypocrites. The Benjamin Button testosterone guy just hasn't done his research sadly. And the last question I want to throw into the room is, what's the alternative? I'm pretty sure one day of your eating behavior, Mr. Baker kills more animals than my eating behavior in a year. Part of it is because you're a tall guy with a decent exercise schedule. Another reason is that you're eating dead animals, which are crops that then again are responsible for dead animals. More than 50% of all the habitable land on this planet is used as farmland that the animals, which you call food, John, subsist of. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health, and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.